how convenient that they have waited a month out from the election. How convenient they didn't try to deal with this months ago. How convenient that they have said that they will not get involved with Taft-Hartley. How, how convenient that they will not send in aid to these other states where we have Republican voters. They are very convenient. It looks like the strike is going to happen. I have uninformed individuals writing on my, my YouTube channel. The strike is not going to happen. It's like, it, it, it's happening. The, the trucks are lining up. I think they said one of the ports they thought already has closed down. That was what a Fox commentator was saying. They, they have videos of the trucks lining up trying to get in there before, uh, to try to get out of the port what, what, what they can get. There's a ripple effect that occurs. The truckers, as they explain, get paid per delivery amount. Their, their jobs are in trouble now, but no, no, it's great because, you know, it's great. I don't know how many days this is going to last. This is going to be a catastrophe for the economy. The economy already is shit. I don't think I have the energy in this video to try to appeal to the Democratic voters, especially the ones, some of them who, who may at some point mature in their life. Maybe somehow you'll see the light and you'll vote for Trump and you won't vote for someone that's going to destroy the country. And now we're having a, a strike happening, which is going to send our economy potentially into a depression. That's dad, so you know who that is. Now, I didn't necessarily think that this was going to happen. Some of you had mentioned to me that this had been looming for a while, which is a good point to make, in that they knew this, the Biden-Harris administration. They knew this more than the average person, and yet they conveniently have waited. And again, they're making comments that they're not going to send in one drop of aid to these areas where people are suffering. And also because a lot of those areas tend to be these swing state areas where they notice a lot of Republicans, that people are going to suffer now with this. I'm very worried, worried about how long this is going to be. If it goes on one or two days, that's, that's bad. They were talking about the recovery time. You know, that, that one day can be a week or a week is a month. I don't know, but it's, it's very bad. If it lasted three, four days, that would be considered we got off good, but I don't know. I think that they are so enraged, these people, due to the economy. Their demands, besides the, the concept of their demands, taking it away from that part, everything is heightened, okay? The inflation, the economy, the crime, the border crisis. So everything is inflamed and, and they are enraged. And I think that they are capable of this going on longer now as opposed to had this been 10 years ago. Another one of my brilliant commentators, they wrote on my channel, they're like, what does Harris have to do with this? She was the border czar. She let in 21 million people. This contributed to inflation because we have to support them financially. This has made people not too happy, including the union people, okay, as they think about their wages, as they see the inflation in the grocery store. And then I had people going, well, that's why they're upset. They're, they're upset about the inflation in the grocery store. It's like they're upset about how we got here. That's what they're upset about. That's the deeper core to this. And she has inflamed all of this, okay? And, and how convenient that they have waited a month out from the election, how convenient. One of my running jokes I have on my channel is about your eggs being becoming $45. It's like, that, may, that day may be sooner than you think. It may be $20 next week if we have shortages. And again, I live in Dade County. It's very difficult to converse with anyone here. Trump wins. They want him to win a broken economy that's in a, in a depression. Yeah. Now we have to wait. We have to wait and see and pray for those who pray that um, what happens now? What happens? How long this lasts? I, I, like many of you, this is one extra heightened anxiety on top of everything else that was happening. Okay, the economy, like I said, was shit before. Oh, now we now, have to oh, wait and see what happens and what's with this. And what's going to happen with the Christmas season? Christmas season. Anyone who works in retail, all these things, all these domino effects. You know, like she's great, she's cool, she's swell, she's brat. I don't know. These different words they've come up with. Well, if any of you have one of those jobs, your job may now be affected. So you could come up with cool words as you're sitting at home unemployed. Well, when the eggs go, when the eggs go up. Well, your job may not dollars. need you if your job doesn't have things to sell. Your job, your job may not need yeah, you, so you could be at home thinking about how you're voting for her. The inflation's going to go up <clears> even <throat> higher now. We have to wait and see what happens and really, really hope that this doesn't last more than a few days. Very, very worried. I don't feel well anymore from it, and I'm sure you guys don't either. Okay.
that it's just one shit on top of another and and we don't feel well i didn't feel well before we felt exhausted before and now it's like now now we have this to deal with well that was a comment that charlie kirk had said he said it sh the race should not be as close as it is open border crisis lunatics running running all over the place that, as charlie kirk put it the race should not be this close crime is out of control the open border crisis friends all over the place it's difficult to go outside anymore okay money inflation like crazy. printing money like crazy in order to support them in five-star hotels in inflation through the roof heading towards hyperinflation it should not be it should not be this close if she gets in you'll have 50 million per year coming in within four years you won't recognize the united states anymore. i hope this gets rectified within a few days um, and that's going to do a number a few days but we have we have to month. think about the best case scenario unfortunately except what what seems to be occurring try to keep our emotions in check try to keep your stress level down because that's important to to mention with your stress you know you we need to go to work still we need to function still you need to take care of your families your your kids you you need to keep your stress level down drive safely i know we all have a lot of things on our mind but you still need to take care of yourself and your neighbor uh we need to hope that this gets rectified if you believe in prayer, if I'm not saying you need to, but if that is that is the route you go, then pray. I hope that this gets rectified within the next couple days sooner than later. Uh, again, thank you so much all for being here. Thank you to my channel members. I posted a video for that up on my channel. I hope, but thank you so much to all of my subscribers for being here. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. You guys mean everything to me. And I think that we are all making a difference by being here and talking and communicating about what's happening. Thank you so much for being here. The leaves are falling from the tree and scaring me. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you again soon in my next video and bye.